So right now you're in the Xerox Research Centre of Canada, which is Xerox's Global Materials Research Laboratory. This is a printed electronics laboratory that you're in right now. So what we're really looking at doing is creating um, printed electronics. And what we do here is actually print electronics onto, onto materials that might be flexible, or maybe even onto card or packaging types of materials. So this piece of equipment here actually is almost like your inkjet printer at home. And it jets things like conductive inks onto these kinds of materials. What that all means is that the possibilities for future printable 3D electronics are nearly endless. People talk about the Internet of Things, which is having you connected to the world around you in all different ways. And researchers at Xerox's Global Materials Laboratory are at the forefront of developing that technology. Is this some of the stuff that we're talking about that's actually being done now? Yes, this is, a, this is an example of printing conductive lines on fabric. So this would, you can imagine this going into a healthcare application perhaps, on a hospital gown where you would have your circuit printed and a sensor that detects how you're feeling. This is a phone that's activating the smart package. Kind of circuit that was printed directly onto the box? Yes, that's right. It's printed directly onto the card. In this case, we've put a touch sensor on it. If it was a pipe in the oil fields, this might detect oil flow. You could have a sensor that detects gas leakage. You could have the bottle now talk to you. This is a very simple concept around this, where the person takes the lid off, and printed inside, we have a circuit, and it screams at you. But in theory, you could have a, a speaker that actually spoke to you and says, you've already taken one today, a medical implant. You might be able to 3D print that implant, but actually print sensors in that implant at the same time. So now when it's in your body, it would have, you'd be able to detect your blood flow, maybe how much pressure there is on the implant, the wear of it. And so now you can really, I mean, this really would be a huge impact into the healthcare industry. Where exactly are we at right now here at the lab? What are you able to do at this stage? Uh, right now, we can print a range of sensors. Smart packaging is within the next few years. Um, but as you start to combine 3D printing with printed electronics, you're looking out towards more five-year time, seven-year time frame. And all of that means an exciting future of endless possibilities for 3D printing. In Mississauga, Audra Brown, City News.